Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be going over four reasons why your AI written blogs or articles may not be ranking on Google. I'm sure you've all come across tutorials or videos showing you how to write and rank content using ChatGPT or using any AI copywriter, but there's not a lot of videos out there that tell you why your content may not be ranking on Google. So in today's video, I'll be shedding some light as to why your AI written content may not be ranking on Google. Let's go ahead and get started. I believe that the main reason that most AI written content doesn't rank on Google has nothing to do with whether or not I used AI to write the content, but it has to do with your domain authority. If you're unfamiliar with what your domain rating is, essentially it's a metric between zero and 100. The higher the number, the more authoritative or the higher domain authority you have within that niche. So essentially the higher domain authority you have, the higher likelihood you have a ranking on Google for specific keywords within that niche. Now, keep in mind that domain rating is a made up number. It's not a number officially recognized by Google, but it is a good gauge for website owners to understand how much expertise or authoritativeness they have within a specific niche. I've already done a really in-depth video on domain authority and showing you how to actually increase your domain authority. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. But essentially your domain rating or your domain authority is calculated by a variety of different metrics. And the most famous uh, metric is by Ahrefs, which is your domain authority. And this is calculated by the number of incoming links, the quality and relevancy of those incoming links, the quality of your website's content, social signals, and that's the popularity of your domain and um, how active your domain or your website is being shared on social media and your website's SEO performance in general. But even though your domain rating is a made up number, it's a very important metric. And just before we continue the video, I'd like to let you guys know of a new service that I'll be offering, and that is creating high quality SEO optimized blog posts for any niche. So if you like the strategies that I mentioned in today's video, and you would like me to create some blog posts for you, just head over to the link in the description below this video, select whichever package you like, fill out the form and then I'll be in contact with you and we can finalize the order. So if you are interested in this type of service, again, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. Let's continue with today's video because if you understand your domain authority, then you would have a better understanding as to which keywords you can actually go after. So for example, let's say I wanted to rank for the keyword best shoes for standing all day. The first thing that you want to do is actually enter that keyword on Google and you want to assess the competition level. You want to see how authoritative these websites are to get a gauge to see if you can even have the possibility of being on the first page of Google. And the best way to measure your competition is by understanding the website's domain authority. So for instance, let's say I wanted to get a better gauge. Um, I can use Ahrefs, which is a tool that will give me all that information. But if I don't have a paid account, then it can be harder to find that domain authority. But an easy and free way to find the domain authority of every any website is by copying the link address, heading over to Ahrefs, and you want to scroll all the way down, and you'll be able to see and use a free website authority checker. So if I paste this into um, Ahrefs, I want to remove the slug because I just want to get the full domain authority of that website. Okay, so we see here that this is a 87 domain rating and that is an 87 out of 100. So we can see that this is a very authoritative website. Now let's go ahead and try another web address that's ranking for this specific keyword so that we can gauge our competition level. So again, I'm going to remove everything other than the main domain URL and another 86 out of 100. So just from checking two of these URLs, we can see that this is a very competitive keyword to go after. Even if we went ahead and tried the last um, website on the first page of Google, I'm sure that this would be at least a 50 and above in terms of the domain rating. Okay, so this is 87. So even higher than the other um, domains in which we checked. So that's probably one of the main reasons why your content isn't ranking on Google is that you haven't really assessed the competition level. If you're a new website, there's no way that you'd outrank a website that has a domain rating of 60 or 70 and above. So the first tip and the first thing that you need to keep in mind, if you like to rank your content online, whether it's written by AI or by humans, is that you need to make an intentional effort to increase your domain authority. There's a couple of ways in which you can go about doing so, but the main method is by focusing on getting high quality backlinks to your websites. So once you're able to get more backlinks to your websites, that will increase your domain authority because Google will now see that other authoritative websites within your niche are linking back to you, which makes you look more of an expert within that field. And then Google will start ranking your content higher. So the reason why your AI blogs or articles may not be ranking on Google has nothing to do with the fact that you use an AI copywriter or ChatGPT to write the content. It may have to do with your low domain authority 
or you going after keywords in which you will not be able to rank for because it's too competitive. That brings me to my second point, which is you need to do better keyword research. And that doesn't mean necessarily relying on tools such as Ahrefs or any other keyword research tool. You need to have a pulse on the niche in which you're in and you need to find a competitive advantage. Again, if you're a smaller website, it's going to be very hard for you to compete with some of those higher volume keywords or the keywords that actually translate into sales. So you need to figure out how you can find an angle within your niche to be able to rank and start getting traffic. And the best way to go about doing so is actually thinking about new novel keywords or ideas within your niche that people may not be able to find in a keyword research tool. So if you're a new or smaller website and you want to get some easy traffic, I would recommend thinking about what new topics you can write about that hasn't really been written about within your niche. And you can still use ChatGPT or an AI copywriter to write that content. I've recently done a tutorial where I showed you how to actually write up-to-date and live information using ChatGPT. We all know the biggest limitation with ChatGPT is that it's only trained on information up to 2021. So if you want to write more up-to-date information, then that can be a challenge um, creating blog posts or articles that are new and up-to-date. But with the method that I showed you, you can feed ChatGPT, some new information, and then ask it to write a blog post about that information so you can get um, some new information a lot quicker and post that onto your blog. If you would like to see that full method, again, I'll leave a link for that video in the description below. So that's my second tip. Think about what new ideas, what new blog post topics you can write about that's very novel and new to your niche that not a lot of your competitors are writing about. And then you can also still leverage ChatGPT to write that content for you. Personally, I've seen this work for myself. I've recently launched a new website and even though I haven't really focused on increasing my domain rating, I've been writing on a lot of content that's new and novel within the AI space. And I think because of that, I'm getting a lot of clicks, a lot of impressions compared to some of my other websites where I did some comprehensive, um, in-depth keyword research and wrote a bunch of content on there. Um, this new website is growing a lot faster. So I would definitely recommend thinking about how you can um, find some new topic ideas within the niche that you're writing for. And once you're focusing on increasing your domain authority and also writing on new topics, you still need to implement some of the best SEO practices when you're writing. So you need to optimize for on-page SEO. That means including your keywords or your main keywords throughout your articles, making sure that your articles are formatted properly, which are H1s, your H2s and your H3 and your H4 tags. You need to include a optimized title and meta description. And what I've seen working recently is including videos within your blog posts. I've seen that your content is able to be indexed quicker by Google, which means you have a higher likely chance of getting more views, more clicks and more impressions um, by including a video within your blog post. And another tip is that you want to share your blog post once you've created it on Google. You want to try to be multi-channel. So you want to share your content on social media, Pinterest, um, LinkedIn, Reddit, wherever makes sense for the content in which you're creating. As I mentioned earlier, one of the main signals for domain rating is your social signal. So that is again, how active your content is being shared on social media or other platforms that just brings more authority back to your website. And the fourth reason why your blogs or articles may not be ranking on Google is because you may not have created enough content or you may not have waited long enough for your content to rank on Google. And this can be one of the most frustrating aspects of building a website and getting traffic over to your website. And that is, it takes a little bit of time and it takes a lot of work. And when you think about this logically, this makes sense. Google holds a lot of power and they really want to satisfy the search's intent. So if you are a new website, you're competing with all of these websites that have been established within your niche for years and years. So you need to build up your content so that you look like you're a full complete website in the eyes of Google. And then you also need to be an authority within that space. You need to um, have some expertise and you need to add some value within that space, then Google will see that you're an authority and they'll want to rank you higher on um, the search engine for specific keywords. So that's why it's so important for you to focus on increasing your domain authority that can really expedite the time that it takes you to grow your website. It really is an uphill battle when you're a smaller website trying to outrank some of these bigger websites. But once you build your authority and you have a lot of content on your website, you can definitely start ranking for some lucrative keywords, which will allow you to not only grow your website, but actually make money from your websites as well. A lot of website owners and bloggers focus on creating content, but they don't focus on the second part, which is increasing your domain authority. So that's the fourth reason why your AI content may not be ranking on Google. So let me know in the comments below if you guys liked any of these tips and I hope that it was able to help you out and help you be able to overcome some of the obstacles you may have right now trying to grow your website. If you have any questions or you need any clarifications about anything that I mentioned in today's video, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stay well.